Yeah, first, uh, uh, congratulations to New Mexico State. Um, terrific year. Uh, they played a great game, uh, shot the ball well, moved it defensively. So uh, all the credit uh, goes to them. They played really well, obviously. Uh, so good job. That, that very impressive. And as I said before, that they're they're a terrific team, and they proved it tonight. Uh, that being said, I am extremely proud of our guys. We just ran out of gas, and as I said, New Mexico State earned this win. Uh, they played. Terrific basketball. Uh, we ran out of gas. Uh, you know, three games and three nights. Our guys uh, have a short rotation. Uh, the guys that uh, have played uh, just didn't have it tonight, and I can't blame them. It's not because of effort or anything like that. Just, just didn't have it. Ran out of gas. So uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, we had lost two in a row. We came in here and. Uh, beat a really good Seattle team that played well, and again, beat a really good Utah Valley team, and then just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. So we are all very disappointed. Um, our goal is always to to win uh, the WAC tournament and go to the NCAs, and uh, couldn't do it. But it's not because of effort. Uh, we just uh, did enough have had enough uh, gas in the tank. You came out with the adrenaline earlier, but was it the rotations or getting back? Well, just you know, you know, we're playing. You know, so few guys right now, and uh, we're leaning heavily on, uh, you know, Carlos, and uh, who had a terrific, terrific tournament, uh, one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, those first two games uh, to to perform the way he did uh, and play those minutes, um, just an unbelievable performance. Um, and then you know, Ali and and Michael for big guys were playing 37, 38 minutes a game. Uh, so we were just we were just down in our rotations uh, because of injuries and other things. So uh, as I said, they had to play hard every game. And uh, this third night, we ran into a terrific team, and we just uh, came out with a lot of, as everybody would thought, a lot of uh, enthusiasm and momentum and, and energy. Uh, and you could just see it. We're just the shots were short, and uh, the effort was great, but just just didn't have it. What about the growth of this program now? To get to the championship game of this tournament two years in a row in your second year of postseason at Wichita. Yeah, I, yeah, I tell everybody, it's, it's, you know, it's amazing what uh, we have done as a university. And it's just not uh, the basketball team, it's the whole university from the president down. Uh, we have grown so quickly in all sports. Uh, the university has grown. When I first got there seven, almost seven years ago, there was 4,000 students. Now we have 21,000 on campus. Uh, and we've grown very quickly, and the expectations are high, which I'm glad, and that's why I went there. So we are disappointed, but we have to also remember that we're just uh, we're in our infant stages. This is just our second year eligible for the tournament, and we've made it to the to the finals uh, here in the WAC tournament twice. So again, I'm proud of everybody, our student body, our fan support, our campus, uh, my players, uh, everybody. So I can't tell enough about what an atmosphere, and I'm, I'm lucky to be involved with a, such a great university. What makes it so hard um, to just prepare and adjust to a team that can just put out almost a whole new personnel on the floor? Well, it's not so much preparing. We, we know what they have, and that's one of their strengths is their depth. And that's one of the things I was worried about coming in this game. As I said, with, with three games and three nights, it's, it's hard to match up with a team that can keep running in guys and out and all very talented guys, and that's why they're very good. So um, it's not so much preparing. We know what we had to do, and uh, they just kept running bodies at us, and they were fresher than we were, and that's – what happened, and that's why they won. They're a good team, and they deserve to win. So it's not about preparing. It's just they have a deep team that keeps coming at you in waves, and they did a really good job of it. Uh, we just got to come out and play harder. You know, um, first I want to say, you know, uh, I'm thankful for my seniors. You know, I'm uh, sad they had to go out like this, but we, me and him will be back next year, and you know, we're gonna give it our best next year again, just all out. That's all it takes. You know, three games, and coaches always preach that to us, and thank him too. We had a <clears throat> the injury in the game. We had a pretty good start. After we couldn't keep with the with the rhythm, I believe um, they're, they're they're like as somebody said, like 14 guys. So it's the, they're more deep than us, and I don't know. I believe they play we play hard, but we we didn't have it today. It was uh, electric atmosphere really out there for for both teams, but uh, both, for special both, Grand Canyon. Both teams have terrific fan bases. Uh, one of the most two exciting places to play in the league by far. Uh, we enjoy going to New Mexico State because it's a great atmosphere. It's a college atmosphere. I tell our guys all the time we look forward to it because that's what college basketball is about. 
Uh, so we appreciate it, and we appreciate uh, our fan support. So um, I think it's great for the league, uh, our, our, our support, our fans, and the way New Mexico State travels and uh, the way they, uh, they root on their team. So it's, it's what college basketball is about. So I think it's great. I mean, both teams are, you know, New Mexico State's have been a power in this conference for a long time, and that's who we want to be. So that's who we inspire to be. And they'll keep pushing us, I hope, as we have pushed other teams, as we've come in. And, and this, this league continues to get better. Uh, it, when I first got here, I think we were 31 in the RPI, and now we're like 14th or something. So the league continues to get better, and we welcome that. That's, that's just going to push everybody and all the coaches and recruiting and get better players. And uh, So I'm happy. I love it. I think the, the atmosphere is great both at, in, in both places, and it's going to make us all better getting into a shootout like that, it's, it's very tough to do because when you live or die by the three, not that that's what you're trying to do, but at some point you have to catch fire too. Can you just speak on that and the difficulties? Well, I mean, and we, we, we shot the ball, you know, well all tournament. Um, and again, it's, this is not an excuse. So I don't want to hear it. They are a terrific team. We ran out of gas, man. We played so hard the first two games. We have a short rotation. Uh, we play so hard. I ask these guys to do so much. We just ran out of gas. And again, New Mexico State is a terrific, terrific team. They won the game, but we ran out of gas. And they shot it terrific. I mean, they were shooting lights out. We went to a zone, they, they shot it well. We doubled, they, they shot it well. So all the power to them. They played great, and they shot the ball. I don't know if we would have played our best game. If we, were, if we were rested, we would have beat them. I'm not saying that. So they got hot and that was good at a great time they that's why they've won 30 games they're really good and we just didn't have it tonight and as i said we were very tired i knew that going into the game it's not an excuse but i knew that going into the game uh somehow i knew we'd probably jump out to a, a good beginning and we did and new mexico just kept on coming at us and we just didn't have it tonight period so they were great unbelievable they shot the ball they rebounded it and that's that's why they're good and when a team gets hot like that there's not a whole lot you can do. And they share the ball very well. Midway through conference play, you were playing your best basketball when you lost Jared Martin. In hindsight, how much did that affect and how proud are you, team, to still get back to the championship game? after? Well, it adjusting? always affects you when you lose a guy like Jared. I mean, he's your senior. He's been here for five years. He's your defensive stopper. He's an emotional guy. He leads us in practice. He leads us in huddles. He leads us, you know, he's over there coaching uh, there, and he's in, in tears now. So. Uh, it was a blow to our team because he is such a, a positive force to us and he was playing the best he's ever played for us uh, this year. He was shooting the ball well. He was, there. He was a great, he made, he made you know, he made all, all defensive team playing half a year. That just tells you how much uh, the coaches in the WAC respect him as a player. And I was happy for him. So of course we missed him uh, and it took us a while to bounce back. But I'm proud of our guys for finding the resolve to come back and turn it the right way. and. Uh, you know, Matt Jackson and Trey Dreschel who came in and Michael Finke had an unbelievable year. Uh, all those guys. And then Jared, those are seniors that we'll miss. And I'm happy for them that they got to the tournament again or to this WAC tournament finals. And I wish it was a different result. But, uh, you know, Matt and Jared have been here for five years and they helped us grow this program uh, from where it was. And then Michael and Trey came in uh, just for a year, but really put a stamp on on what they did. Michael came in and made first team all league and and played terrific. And Trey wanted was a Division two player and wanted to prove he's a Division one player, and he did that. So I'm proud of all of our seniors, and they'll be uh, uh, dearly missed. Do you guys plan on playing in another uh, postseason conference tournament, either the CBI or uh, CIT? We'll talk, we'll talk about that when we get home. That's you know something that we haven't really thought about. Uh, you know, our plan was to, to go to the big dance, as it is every year, and it will be next year. Uh, that's the expectation of Grand Canyon. And it's to win the WAC, and everybody can tweet or whatever they want. Yeah, we, we expect to win the WAC, and we expect to win a tournament, and we expect to go to the dance. And that's never going to change. Uh, that's our expectations. And that will be our driving force next year, and we'll continue to do that. And if we do it, fine. If we don't, then we'll continue to work, and we'll get better. We're going to get better every year. We've been better every year since I've gotten here. Uh, our guys are going to continue to work. We'll have a good team next year, and we'll put it all on the line again and uh so i don't know what that answer is right now uh we'll figure it out our guys need a rest um both mentally and physically and then uh we'll figure out what we're going to do